Hey y'all, Kevin here with Salty Dog Outdoors, uh, doing a by request cigar and whiskey talk. Today's cigar is an Osak. And with that, we're doing a little bit of Aberfeldy 12-year-old scotch. And uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine not too long ago. And he said I should do a cigar and whiskey talk on how do you know who to vote for. Uh, we happen to be talking about the presidential candidate, so I'm assuming that's what he meant. Uh, but here's the deal. The presidential oath contains the following words. To the best of my ability, ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Which candidate do you think will do that? Uh, we don't mean by preserving the Constitution to uh, ignore the parts you like and Go with the parts you do, or, or ignore the parts you don't like and go with the parts you do like. I'm using a cigar cutter today. This is my GB2 cigar cutter. Josh Henry gave this to me. Uh, but, you know, the short story is this. What candidate do you think will abide by Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Uh, which one do you think wants to make changes? We've got a really tough draw. So, uh, I've seen a lot from both candidates, uh, and if you're one of those guys who think we ought to have a libertarian or independent, we're not going to get one of those anytime soon because those guys set their sights way too high. Uh, they're never going to take the presidency until they get a whole bunch of minor offices, so just forget that. It's not going to happen. You may not like one candidate, you may not like the other candidate. Uh, the fact of the matter is this, uh, you're not going to get exactly what you want ever. Uh, there's no such thing as a perfect candidate. Uh, so both of the leading candidates have problems, which is true. I'm going to cut the cigar in half and see if I can get past the draw, the draw, the draw problem. I think it's been sitting up above the visor of my van for quite a while, so it's probably going to have some problems. So it's really not a good rep representative, I don't think. But it's a pretty good cigar. It's really mild. Uh, back to presidential stuff. Who, how do you know who to vote for? You? Vote for the guy who most closely resembles what you think the president should be doing. Uh, do you want the guy who's going to take care of the Constitution? Who's going to make good choices for judges? Who's going to do a lot of things? doesn't matter if you personally like them or not. Uh, it doesn't matter if they've got some moral problems because both of them probably do. I mean, I do, and so do you. Mm -mm. Uh, there's no perfect people. Uh, what is it? The only perfect man that, that there ever was, they, they crucified. So uh, if you're religious, you know what I mean? If you're not religious, don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt you to hear that. Outside the little little dry. Yeah, uh, we want to talk about Trump saying bad things about women. I got bad news for you. I was in the military. 
some of the shit that he supposedly said was pretty damn tame stuff that I heard and probably stuff that I said. Uh, at least he doesn't, you know, he doesn't really hide it. It was one of those, yeah, I said it. Probably shouldn't have. Sorry. Uh, the other guy puts his hands all over people right on national news and then swears he didn't do it. So, I guess what I'm saying to you is vote for the guy or the gal. Not in this case, but, you know, in the future, whenever, uh, that you think is going to preserve our our, our nation, preserve our constitution, preserve our way of life. And, uh, there are plenty of places around the world who have tried all this, all these other ideas that everybody says they want to change the U S into. I got bad news for you. There are plenty of places you can go and give that a firsthand test drive. Uh, most of it has never worked anywhere. And they say silly things like, well, that's because you never have me before. Uh, doesn't matter. Those people had people just like you. Didn't work for them either. Works really good for the folks at the top. Don't work for crap for anybody else. So, all I'm going to say is I'm not going to tell you who I'm voting for. You can probably figure it out. Uh, vote for the person who cares about America, who cares about keeping it the way it is. And that's not because we're scared of change, it's because it works. There's a reason we're one of the youngest nations on the world, and we skyrocket it right to the top. Okay, there's a reason. Our system works, whether you want it to or not. So, that's really all i got to say about that, like Boris says. Uh, thanks for your views, thanks for your support. Thanks for uh, watching my buddies, and uh, thanks for all the folks who support me who also have channels. So, talk to you all later, and the guy who recommended I do this, you know who you are? There you go. Have a good, have a good one. See you all in the woods.